final trade time, Tim. Bruh.
Hey, Traders. Just in time for the afternoon dump, the evening dump, I guess, right? And what we thought could be happening is now getting the arguments getting stronger, right? Where daily, you're hanging on to the support, I guess, not by much. And uh, your bearish and golden candles 53 minutes away from being confirmed. Uh, still above the 200 moving average, barely. And then you go to the four hour. The four hours where it's scary, right? It's not, it's like just how could you be bullish? Like just the structural development on Bitcoin since the seventh of this month, terrible. Right now, just touching that support, just hanging on after making a consecutive lower high. Bearish and golden candle this morning. Oh, wow, right? So, uh, proceed with caution when charts look like this and they're already in prevailing downtrends. Be careful. And you know what? Similar, you know, it looks really, really similar here. And I'm glad uh, I talked to General Spaz about it right here. Okay, take away this M shape that is the hypothetical of what we're looking at. But look, I mean, it's it's very, it, in ways, similar. Like, lots and lots of distribution, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. And then, you know, after that third higher low, pretty much, you started dumping. I mean, it went and lost 15% of its value in eight days. Before what? Before rallying, all right? So, just think about it. I'm just, you know, just thinking here. Just spitballing, just what can you do? I mean, that's, okay, so think about it like this. You know, one one peak, a second peak, then a third peak. All right, and th this is where we are right now. We're like right here. Okay, got it. So, all right, let's get back to it. And so the same thing, right? What was our uh, hy hypothetical that had not occurred yet that we were waiting on, we've been waiting on, and it's still in the midst of, of happening, right? You're waiting the lower highs, the dump, the confirmation low of the major harmonic, and then the pattern completion zone of the smaller harmonic. Look, just look, man. Like, yeah, it is similar, but you got another 15% drawdown to go before. Well, it might be. It's different here. I don't know if it's the same percentage. That'd be whack if it was. You got another 8.4% downside before you hit uh, the completion of this smaller harmonic structure. So. There's no edge, man. There's no freaking edge on Bitcoin. Get out of here. If anything, it's almost like Class C, hidden bearish divergence, where you double top on the the uh, RSI and you make a lower high on price. Yeah, continuation implied. But hey, you haven't broken forty-seven five five nine yet. You're, you, but you've tested it. We got fifty-one minutes. A lot can happen in fifty-one minutes if you tune in for the last hour of the day crypto it happens all the time right power hour we're we're in it so again dude of course of course it could just hold here and rally randomly but <laughs> good luck dude third lower high wow what's up man one two three one two three lower highs i mean dude one two three don't i mean you've had them before man you know you've had these like a high, then the lower high, then the dump, right? I mean, look, a high, the same high, then the lower high, then the dump. Right, look, a high. Like here's one, two, three, dump. It happens. Look, one, two, three, dump. So, this is just literally, like, it doesn't matter what happens literally right now next, but it is bearish. It looks bearish right now. The price action is crap on Bitcoin. All right. Just, just wanted a public service announcement on your favorite asset ever. It looks like there could be a sale coming if history repeats itself, right? Ethereum much, much better, even though it's, you know, not having a good day today. It's on $24 did so much better than Bitcoin. It's just like, this is the new Bitcoin. My God. Yeah, it is only making another lower high than your previous high, than your previous high, your previous high, right? But um, still above 39.50, still above the old demand line of the channel. It's it's pretty wild to see Ethereum just continuously outperform. So it is the superior asset technically for a while now. But unfortunately, Bitcoin, you know, if it, it breaks this 47.559 area, you better look out. This thing's going to dump too. But probably what happened, Bitcoin dumps to much lower lows. 
And then Ethereum maybe goes down to 3,600 again and doesn't even make a lower low. It makes like the same low or something crazy, some sort of like more major confirmation low of the PCZ of the shark. It, it's it's wild, man. Um, and, you know, you look at Ethereum and Bitcoin and this is r really it. I mean, massive parabolic uptrend continues. All these bullish patterns, double bottoms, flags, sharks, ciphers, supply lines broken. They just are reliable and they continue to outperform when they do play out. So massive engulfing candle yesterday and it's just hanging out still, still just continuing to climb. And it's, it hit its highest level since the 10th, you know, six days ago, but it's weird. I mean, it's not, I guess it's not weird. It's just, uh, it is a notable occurrence that is continuing and you're watching the stream. So you kind of tune in to maybe get technical updates on certain assets like Bitcoin Ethereum. Okay, cool. That makes sense. So we're, I guess we're cool there. So, uh, moving on, we shall take a look and I don't know if you're going to like it. Uh, I like hate turtles. turtles. Sorry, right? Can't I can't get to it right? So here is the visualized downtrend on the four hour of the crypto total market cap. This is everything combined in one, and inflection zone from April. Well, as you can see, after making another lower high again, right than your previous high. You're dumping below it and just it's not in a good spot. And you could imagine where it's going if Bitcoin dumps. Ethereum's gonna dump. Everything's gonna dump the US dollar. So this would too. And yeah, I mean straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. Uh you could be headed down to two trillion again if like things get bad enough on Bitcoin. Tech got wrecked today, but we know. Bitcoin, I mean, crypto is just uh, completely, uh, you know, they're passing correlations, but currently the correlation is very, very true between tech stocks and Bitcoin, where tech stocks got wrecked today, semiconductors especially, you know, Adobe being the biggest loser. And it was down over 10% to close. So value names outperforming now. You know, Dow Jones didn't get hit as bad as the Qs or the S&P. It's just, uh, there are times to make money, times not to lose money. I really think we are in that time not to lose money situation where the, the money was made. I mean, you know, it's like, it's tough though, because the, uh, in actuality, Bitcoin is like the same price it was at at the beginning of the year. I mean, Bitcoin is at the literal same price it was at February 8th of this year. So if you held Bitcoin, you didn't make a dime between February and now. Uh, that means you had to strategically sell or buy and then sell again. But uh, if you're just being a holder, no gains for you. Now you go back further, you go to January, beginning of January, you go to late December, you go to November, October. Hey, you made stupid money. You're up over 100%, 100% plus return. But that is continuing to dwindle away as Bitcoin keeps making lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. Oh God, we're downtrending for the midterm anyway. All right, so that was... So you get total, total like, uh, it kind of would make sense, right? 50%, then the 886. The 886 is the $2 trillion mark cap and BDM shape and that, that can, and it's the bottom of the channel, right? The parallel channel. And like from there, you maybe could get a nice bounce. Maybe to the top of the channel again. It's just, look, the equilibrium level, the heart line of this channel is beautiful, right? Support, resistance, resistance, up thrust. You broke it and went to the top. Look, resistance, resistance, and resistance for a third time. My God, man, it's just ugly. It's ugly. I don't care if it reverses here. If you if you care about traditional technical analysis, it is disgusting. It's it's currently bearish right now, and of course it could change. But you know, whatever. Okay, so now we can uh, take a look at Cardano. That's down <laughs> almost five percent today. 
You talk about, wow, it's at the pattern completion zone of this harmonic and it caught its reaction. It caught its reversal probably maybe in the four hour. And now it's showing a buy wall with continuation of distribution, right? Distribution is signified by lower highs on a chart. Too much distribution. It's like descending triangle behavior now. Where right, you know, we could just plot it if you really want to see it. Like, uh, distribution with a buy wall is not good normally. Could be a bearish continuation and if you don't hold this buy wall that is currently set up at 119, 120, you go into a dollar, one dollar. Very it should be a steel wall of support. But it, you could certainly think, uh, oh, measured move, who cares about a measured move? Because you have this. You you like don't need to worry about a measured move of this little consolidation structure, descending triangle, when you just know, oh yeah, down here, this is this is probably where you know it's headed to this zone, 98 cents to a dollar seven if it breaks that buy wall. Okay, no problem. But the downtrend continues very much intact because you've shown zero indication of accumulation, only distribution. Your divergence that existed for a moment uh, ushered in a very short-term reversal only to turn into a lower high than the previous high. Less market participants on the asset than they did before, than they did before, 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 before. My God, I could spend the entire stream talking about the lower highs Cardano has been making on the four hours since September began. Are y'all even there? Is this stream is this stream live? Your messages? Are we good? Are we internet? Okay. <sighs> so make sure I'm I'm things are okay, you know, like uh, I know. Like what do you want from me though? Like these are unpleasant truths that are going on right now. They are. So let's go to Binance coin that, you know, whatever. It was just doing the same thing Ethereum was doing. Yeah, it created the harmonic, nice engulfing, outperforming Bitcoin. Could always come back to 502 for a confirmation low. I think that's going to happen if Bitcoin breaks 47,559. But in the end, and you break $500, you're screwed. You're going to lose substantial amount of value so but the good news is about ethereum and, and binance they are in they're in you know they are making lower highs there's a lot of distribution going on but they're just not losing as much value as bitcoin is and it's just something to note to take note of all right technically better okay so uh that's those, so the bigger cryptos. Let's go to the S&P 500, okay. That uh, you're not gonna like the way you look, I guarantee it, because the Jerome Powell pump was literally kind of a joke. I mean, it's still valid until you get a four hour candle close below 46.25, but right, I mean, the morning was the very beginning of the morning. The beginning of the session was nice. It ran up to 47.31, but ended up going as low as 46.50 before closing at 46.68, down 0.87%, $41. And uh, a lower high uh, could have been confirmed today where you had made a lower high December 10th. You sold off, attempted a rally, and this is like maybe a form of confirmation that the lower highs are very real. And we will know with some follow through price action in the coming days next week, because tomorrow's Friday. So let's pay attention and see, uh, do we have a flat day tomorrow? Is the selling immense? Better be careful, Friday, you have a bad Friday. So it's just, so is the uptrend argument is just not, uh, you got a little bit more work to do, right? I mean, clearly 4717 is a steel wall of resistance that has not been broken. You did make a higher low than the previous low, but um, I think we need some more data and think about it. If you're range bound between 45, 45 and $4,700, you're near the top. That means there's a lot of downside potential for the entire stock market, 2.72%, $127, right? So uh, that's, that's probably the area you'd wanna be <clears throat> sizing up at the S&P 500 for a long. And up here, 
if you keep testing resistance and failing and confirming that the failure is real, then it's like, you know, that's not really what you want to see. You need to break 47.17 if you want the resumption of this uptrend, man. And my God, how is that even possible that it could somehow make four hour bearish divergence that quick? You know, it's like a high, then a slightly higher high, the same high, whatever. And then almost inexistent levels of positive momentum. Goodness. Hi, brother. Can we please look at Zagord on four hours? Looks like little cipher, but went to 0.886 reacting. Thanks, ma. No, nah, man, it went to the hundred. It 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 dumped below, like with gold, the flush out. Of course, everything the world just dumps. Um, it dumped and went to 100% retrace from that previous level. So yeah, we'll look at silver. So that's the S&P not making a higher high and kind of confirming that you're not making a higher high for now until maybe to, if tomorrow. You start engulfing and pumping again. You break about $4,700. All right, we're back in business, but not until then. So we got some work to do if you're on the S&P. You got to break 4717, 4744, and then you'll be at all-time highs. But the, the bullish trend's still intact. I mean, you know, I'm just telling you, you're butting up against a resistance and you haven't been able to break it yet. And locally, you confirmed that you couldn't break it just today. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying we're bearish. I'm not saying it's all over for... Stocks, we're going to crash. Nothing like that. It's just you're at a resistance at a, a critical level and you haven't broken it yet. Okay. Dow Jones still making uh, lower highs than previous highs. Made a deep retrace, just like you made a deep retrace on the way down from the low to high. You made you 88 or 87% retrace. Guess what? On the way up from the high to low, what'd you do? A deep retrace. I mean, you went 84, 85% retrace. The good news is the Dow Jones, is, I think you're really in good shape above 35,624, the previous high. If you don't hold that, you are going down to $35,000 to go test that major zone. You didn't even fill the gap, technically. You did not fill the gap of 35,356 yet. So, but it's interesting to see the. Uh, Value names, defensive stocks, right? Today outperform tech. It's you know that happens when things aren't going well for tech. So, okay, there's your Dow Jones. You're above levels and you outperformed. You only lost 0.08 percent of your value today. Pretty good. Yeah, and the ICX, IX, IC, excuse me, the Nasdaq Composite. You know, like it bullishly engulfed, tested the supply. Here's this is why you have these supply lines. It look, hey, if you could break this, you may be making a dragon. What did you do? You never broke it. You could not break the supply line. Where there might be sell orders, there were too many sell orders. And then on the four hour, you did dark cloud cover right here, and uh, you did make a higher close than yesterday's open, or maybe not yesterday's open, but the second candle of the day. So that's not it's not invalid yet. It's still above the 200 moving average on the four hour. You're not dead yet, but my God, this is about as close as you get to everything failing, right? To a dragon failing. Yeah, and what's kind of a little concerning is you're back below fifteen thousand four hundred dollars. There's a stronger support though. Stronger support at fourteen thousand seven six five. That's that's where you're headed. If you're gonna start rolling over tomorrow, not oversold, right? You can be headed down to go test that level because you never in the history of mankind, you've never back tested 14,765 before. So that could be in store if tech's going to continue to sell off. People can keep taking year end profits. Okay. But as you can see, what happens when you do break supply lines, what can occur? You didn't do that. You failed today. You even ran up to, you opened to test it and at the open dumped the whole way all day it sold off once it gapped up marginally down 2.47 percent massively underperforming the other index funds okay so uh russ 2000 yeah it's like oh is it trying to double bottom i don't know man it's like, it looks like, hey, it might be trying to bottom out, but you just don't know, right? It had engulfing candle, dark cloud cover, and engulfing into a dark cloud cover, uh, I would, this is a sit and wait situation. This, it could be trying to confirm the bottom 
but we thought that was yesterday. So now, after the you know news-driven catalyst of uh, Jerome Powell speaking completely dumped, yeah, I would I would be hesitant on all these markets right now, man. Things just look like crap right now. Maybe it's tis the season. Okay, so that's it. Hey, guess what did pump today? Of course, right? This is how it works, right? This is how, this is how it's going to do it. Gold's going to scam down to 1753. And then it's going to pump. The idea we had had to get wrecked. It had to go to the lowest price it had seen since October 11th before, you know, the, the bids came in and pushed it up. And now look at it. Highest price since November 30th. Two week highs. And above the major level of inflection that you desperately need to get above. And now it's, uh, the, the argument's kind of now, this it's stronger maybe now, where you're locally making a confirmation low, right? Where traders settled up. Yeah, it's scam wig. That'll it's stop people China out. to me, China. 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 My sincere thanks for the always clear TA. Greetings from the Netherlands and let's just wait for BTC 43K. Yeah, let's have a pint and uh, wait for the whole thing to blow over, right? I don't know, man. Bitcoin's holding 47.5, so whatever. 32 minutes and change until your daily candle close. But yeah, I mean, like, it was a lower risk area. Thought we were looking at an inverse edge short. Okay, double bottom, same thing, it, you know, right down here. Uh, I think this is really good. I think gold is looks like it's setting up for much higher prices like it did. And uh, that's it. I, I think, you know, you got some local highs you're going to have to test. I think from where it is now, it could eventually make its way to 1830. Look at the highs. Like you break above uh, 1789, 1790, and you could back test it as support for sure. But eventually you make your way straight up to 1830, straight down, straight up, straight down. And eventually straight up, straight down, and then straight up through it, and straight down. So I mean, that's a very real possibility. You eventually see 1833 from here on gold. So it looks pretty good, just like silver. Silver, like great areas. I mean, my God, talking about the absolute bottom of the range here. Oh, this is off, man. I thought I'd say more, but this 2164 between that and 2980 is a mega range you were at the lowest points of it you jumped across a creek you're at the ice line you got the completed m shape and you've reacted near a pattern completion zone yeah you fell below it you did you i mean it literally went to the same price it was at in september so but yeah this is this is how assets look before they eventually you know they're gonna go up and down up and down they can make confirmation low here but eventually assets do uh reverse when they do stuff like this okay so silver looks great too and all the divergence continued i guess right even on the dump so yeah silver looks actually pretty freaking good here can't say it's not like lower risk down here right if you're the bottom of a range between 2160 and almost $30. And you're here. That's that's a lower risk area. Yep. Okay, so that was the request. Well, eating some crow today. <sighs> Alright, so well. Hmm. Okay. Is this the way it's gonna be now, chat? I get it, man. I get it. My request is silver in Australian dollars, please. Thank you, man. You will see the point eight eight six. Okay. Is it? All right. How do you do XAG to AUD? Yep. It's not that much different, right? There's your zone, all right? Dang, man. Could never get back up there, could it? Uh, that's what you're looking at, yeah. I mean, it's like, you're talking about lowest risk areas ever, right? You could never, you can't get much lower than this, can you? I don't know if you could call this a shark. It's kind of whacked out. It's an M shape, I guess. How, we can just mess with it, get the cypher tool out. Really whacked. No, it's... One four, one four, 
It's beautiful. I mean, it's absolutely, yeah, it's very valid. Yeah, I mean, silver, okay, one of the only things in the world right now that's actually like setting up for higher prices based on traditional technical analysis, not Rudy Poo, whatever. Yeah. All you Australians out there, you know, you, you may be under a dictatorship now, but hey, at least your silver to your dollar pairing is good. So you got that going for you, which is nice. Yeah, man, this is this is great right here. So nice. Is that better Arabian Club? Yeah, gold and silver actually look good. And the SLV e Weekly. And this is the uh, this is the ETF. Like, if you're like, hey, I don't have a forex account, you know, I can't trade gold and silver spot, then you would, if you wanted to buy, get exposure to gold, you'd buy the GLD. You know, it's the largest market cap, highest uh, liquidity ETF of gold spot. So the GLD and then SLV for silver. Can we look at sell or gold in Australian dollar? Thank you, Mitch brother, much better. Too late, dude. Too late. We already looked at it. But we can look at it again. One, two, three. Yeah, it looks good. Looks real good here. I mean, nice reaction. Uh, all kinds of divergence. I mean, this is, it doesn't get much better than this at all. It just, it can't. It cannot get better than this when you apply traditional technical analysis to an asset. It can't. So there you go. But the thing is, it's different about this, and uh, you can see there's a supply line. That'd probably be one of your targets, like running up to like 35, 44. Okay. <clears throat> so the what is it? The time of the age of crypto and equities is over. The time of precious metals is here. Precious metals technical analysis with me. Yeah, that's it. So, SLV. Which I, oh, I, I could imagine. It's probably going to look... Oh, yeah. I mean, for sure, dude. For sure. My second request is gold and Aussie dollars, please, man. Okay. We'll look at it. Thank you, dude. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just equally as insane. I mean, like, it's maybe even better. Oh, but this is US dollar, so it's just as good. It's the shark. It's, it's the spring. You're springing back above $20, 50 cents. So low from September 23rd. That's, that's real. So, I mean, a potential b double bottom going on one time, two times divergence locally. And it will just paint the same structure. Remember, this is tracking what we just, the past two assets we pretty much just looked at, right? So yeah, hundred percent reach. It happens right? and between an 886 and 113. You're the one right here. Okay. So you're confirming that the bottom is in. And you just happen to be at the bottom of the range. That's really good. That's like the lowest risk you could ever get on an asset. You get that, right? So silver, you have to be like bullish on it. You cannot be bullish on Bitcoin right now. You can't. But you can be bullish on silver now. Yeah. Okay. You said the weekly though. Okay, we'll look at the weekly. It's the weekly. Yeah, look left. Look left. Um, it's kind of like... Look here. $20 mega support resistance back from 2008. It was created the first time ever. And then you had price action correlation ever since 2014, multiple times. And look here, well, look at the, on the weekly, what's happening with silver, a mega bullish hammer in development, 21 hours and 25 minutes until we have a confirmed weekly bullish hammer. This is trade setup stuff, chat. This is how your dreams are made. Hey, I want to apply traditional technical analysis and be king. Well, something like silver, this is this is as low risk as it gets. High reward opportunity as it can get, all right? So all this stuff going on is like, you know, if it holds this, that eventually. It's beautiful. Literally amazing, dude. Thankfully, because like, I can't find anything that looks actually really that great. You know, everything just looks like trash. Past month and a half, man, it's just 
I don't know, man. This thing's been making lower highs, lower lows, and it's just constantly saying that. And it's just, then you go to silver, and it's like, this one's kind of, could be it. At the same time, it could roll, it could, it could rally, make a lower high again than the previous high, and then start selling off again. Then it's maybe time to start reassessing and saying, screw this too. You know, so it's not, it's about the next move. Bitcoin right now is just testing that 47,559 with 24 minutes to go on the daily. And it doesn't look really good, man. Go figure. Has it looked good lately? No. Every time you come to the stream, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make people depressed, but it's just, it's reality. Okay. There you go. There, there's your silver. Now you want to see XAU to the Australian dollar. We're not going to keep this trend going, chat. Here it is. Lots and lots of accumulation occurring. On the weekly, anyway. Yeah. It's hey, pretty good. been around for years and get banned from your Discord. Not sure why. I wonder if it's because of my Discord being hacked. Had to make a new one. Any way you can help me change this? Oh, uh, I don't know, dude. I, I banned someone that... Uh, joined the discord like three days ago and the only thing that they had posted was uh some sort of link to a, a scam youtube video that will literally they'll take your money and they're like oh i'll give you three bitcoin you give me one like that's what that person posted but it's like if you were here for years in the discord why did it say you literally joined the server like three days ago so i mean i mean i'll be you but like that can't remember the name of the person. I don't know. I got on the whatever. Yeah, deception poker face. Yeah, you joined the server like three days ago, and then you started posting scam links, and then that was it. I'm like, why would I? Why would I keep you in my server if you're gonna do that? And I so, how about an insane looking harmonic that caught an amazing reaction and is and has not stopped since then? I mean, it's just unreal. It's just so perfect. 88% retrace. Like the Jesus, man. Like we're not talking 89, 90, 86. No, 88.6 literally strong. to the dollar cent amount percentage point. 1414. One, four. Just kidding. Even better. It's a 1.42. Is that a joint? For Elon. All right. So, I mean, you're on your way. You're in a massive uptrend, an out of context harmonic, an M shape that's there. As uh, continued rally, and yeah, you're just making higher lows, and so eventually this keeps up. You could find yourself at 27.66 again, right? That's the the high. That's probably where it's headed. Got to be a little careful on the weekly because somehow on the weekly silver high and then the slightly higher high with lower levels of positive momentum uh, doesn't really look that great there. But yeah, I mean, that was pretty solid harmonic, even though I prefer better context for the harmonics. It worked. It played out. It was per it was perfect. Uptrending, right? Not doing what Bitcoin's doing. This is inversing Bitcoin locally for a while now, right? Here's your here's a demand line for you if you need that. You just to see, to visualize the uptrending price action since it bottomed out in March. Yeah. Just butting up against, I guess, a local high from December of last year. If you break that, I think you're going straight up to 27.66 on gold to the Australian dollar, mate. It does look way better than uh, gold to the US dollar. It really does. It's like not even a joke. It's crazy. Oh, Chase, man. Sorry. Thanks for the 20. Did I not? How do you slip one in on me? Oh, we'll look at it, Chase. I'm not sure. Uh, Wayne, I, dude, I don't handle, I delegate 100% of moderation, except that one time recently. Because I don't think they, the mods had seen it. I just happened to see it. I don't handle moderation. That's Brad. You got to hit Brad Fisher up. Okay. But I'll, I'll bring it to their attention, of course. Sure. 
that's I'll I'll make sure of that. Okay, you're not getting ignored. Okay, so we go to Matic. Uh, I don't know. He's normally here. I think today he had to handle something in, in real life. So he's normally in this chat. So a mod in the mod chat. Y'all want to ping Brad or something about this so we can put it to bed in a non-sexual way, of course. Let's see. Matic down 2%. It's, it's pretty wild, man. I mean, like undeniable uptrend intact, not even close to being put in jeopardy. Your bearish harmonic pattern right now underperforming. The three action reversal highs have just manifested into another higher low. So more market participants continue to own this asset. You've run up, right? You ran up uh, yesterday to test 220, which is a daily candle high close back from May 26th. You have not been able to break that. So though you are making higher lows, you're not making higher highs yet. It could be in time that happens. I just, man, with the macro being so trash right now, I just, it's hard to have conviction on anything in, in crypto right now, except maybe Hex, because I'm just kidding. But like Hex actually, we know when Bitcoin went from like 56 to 60K to 30K this summer, Hex went up a thousand plus percent. And Hex has gone through a correction the whole time Bitcoin was reversing from 30k to 69k and now bitcoin's getting looking ugly as f again and hex all of a sudden starting to look intriguing on the chart so i mean it's just you know it's been acting as a hedge this year and and seemingly do continuing to do that yeah why if i pump today it's funny it's up 21 percent my God, it's only $25,000. Wow, what was it at before the 21% pump chat? God, yeah. We'll look at it just, oh, it's only at 19% now. But yeah, it hit like this level all the way back from December 25th, Christmas day of last year. Yeah, it hit that and then sold off and never really hit it again. There was no edge at all. So just, you know, Playing the slot machine, you play the slot machine. Oh, it went up, and then you play the slot machine, then it goes down, right? I mean, it's like, congrats on it pumping here, and it's only going up to test like May twenty third, June twenty fourth, July twenty seconds old lows as a resistance, right? Think about how bad that is. You know, Bitcoin bottomed out July twenty first, twenty twenty one. This asset is now testing that level as a resist Bitcoin's bottom as a resistance. That's just bad, man. I don't care what you got to say. That's just bad. Yeah, Wayne, don't, don't worry, man. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it some way, somehow. Just patience, because, you know, it's like once every year, Brad has to do something IRL and can't be here for the streams that are normally seven days a week, right? Yeah, man. 95K, by the way. <laughs> we were here, man, back in May. Don't you miss May Day this year? May Day other years are terrible. 2018, oh my God. So yeah, dude, uh, in Hex, I mean, like, I'm like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, nothing in crypto right now. It looks like this. Not really. Nothing looks like Hex right now, and Hex looks fine. It's up four percent on the day. It's uh, back above the high from July fifteenth. Gotta love it. Above the two hundred day moving average right now. Positive Momo building, not overbought. Currently sitting at sixty three. Uh, all is well on hex until it makes a lower low now than 13 cents that's when you're in trouble but for now it's great you may you stay above 17 cents long enough you'll you'll eventually find yourself at 34 35 cents okay yeah hex amazing right now
It doesn't matter what you say, right wing, left wing, is the government trying to expand and are they trying to take more freedoms away, but the excuse is they're trying to protect you. I don't care if it's right side, left side. If they're doing that, it's authoritarian. Yeah. Like, it's not a partisan thing. You either, like, have a government that loves freedom and likes freedom and wants to maintain individual freedoms for humans, or they want to take them away and gain more power and to grow more and expand, right? I mean, that's... Yeah. Pretty simple stuff. Don't get caught up in the controlled opposition crap. All right. My team versus that team. No, they're, they're kind of the same team in a lot of ways. Okay, so I don't know, man. Like, we kind of, that, that was it, dude. Like, this is, this is the way the streams are going to go. Like, until morale improves, chat, on the charts. These are the streams, and this is how it's going to go, man. Bitcoin breaking down or try, attempting to break down right now with 13 minutes to go. Not looking good right now. I mean, anything can change at any time. I'm just telling you currently looks terrible. Classic distribution since the 7th. Big yikes, man. Yeah, be sure to join the Discord, too. Like, these are great times to invest in yourself to learn. You know, how to read charts and all that stuff. Like, what is this? Potential three falling peaks. I didn't know that. What is that? That's it's th These are great times, market conditions to learn about patterns, trend analysis, right? Like, bearish patterns perform uh, way better. You know, and if you're in a short-term, mid-term downtrend and you present bearish patterns... They are oftentimes reliable and can outperform. Whereas you paint a bullish pattern in a midterm, long term downtrend, uh, those patterns could be suspect in reliability. And if they do play out, they could just rally to make a lower high, buyer induction, and then dump again. Dang, man, you are just, this is like, I think this is to the dollar accurate. 4755919. You just tested it twice. You just sitting there, man. Let's go, let's go make sure that's. Sometimes I'll be on my laptop, things change. Where are we, man? Whoops. Could have sworn that was it. What is going on here? This isn't even really the strongest uh, support, man. That's all. Maybe I did it on the four hour? Yeah. So anyway, either like, dude, you're you're below the peak from August 14th. You're below the peak from September 16th, September 18th, October 1st. Yeah, oh yeah, it's the valley. That that's why I plotted it. It's you're below the peak from February 9th. Uh yeah, you're just at the February 9th four-hour candle high close. Yeah, man, you were just hanging on by a thread. Look what happened when momentum was bearish Another in May when you broke I'm it. Another on the Chiefs tonight. You putting anything on Bama? Yes, I have a lot on Alabama and Georgia teased. Alabama minus one. I'm sorry, Alabama minus six and a half, Georgia minus one. Those are teased, seven point teaser in that one. That's That's the only bet I have going on. Inflation's not going to stop. What would stop it? I mean, we're going to raise interest rates and then the market will continue to deteriorate. Just remember, it's all like kind of smoke and mirrors, man. Like high majority of uh, stocks on the NASDAQ are like below their 200 day simple moving average. And there's like five mega cap names that are like literally holding the entire market up right now it is rudy poo kind of it's just it's weird man i don't like these market conditions on these markets man silver and gold actually look pretty awesome and then other than that's like okay cash maybe i don't 
I just like, I want some clarity. I want like a reason to buy Bitcoin right now. Oh, besides, oh, it's the fundamentals, man. The fundamentals, you know, while you just keep, market participants keep showing us that they're selling. They keep implying distribution. So it's like, can we please get something that's like, hey, a confirmation loan, we start rallying, we get above critical levels, and then we start making higher lows versus these trash, lower highs, lower low crap. I need, I need more, man. I need more evidence to feel better about the market via reading charts, right? Hmm. Okay, man. Well, I don't know. I mean, I've been live like almost an hour, but you know, this is just the way streams are going to be, man. I'm going to give you your updates. You want to see some bad stuff? Good God, man. It's like Adobe. Here, here's the dump, man. The This is the biggest loser today on the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, man. Right? People be like, oh, hey, man, it's a harmonic, right? It's an M shape, sure, but there's no action to take. You can plot the shark all day that hit the pattern completion zone today. You can plot it, but until you get a confirmation low, man, you got to be really careful. All right, this thing could go to 536 if it breaks 553. I mean, there's certainly no edge. You can't get edges like on crashes like that. I mean, you know, from December 13th to now, you know, you're down 14% in two, almost three days. That's some nasty selling, man. So you could have confirmed a top, right? One time, no one knows. Sell off big time, huge rally. Second high, slightly higher high. Definitely bearish divergence. I, I mean, I'm sure on the daily it was going on, right? Oops. Oh. Yeah, locally, at least from this high to this high, it was certain bearish divergence like crazy. TA was definitely respected here, you know? Uh, then yeah, I mean like from from these highs to the next peak, there there was certainly lower levels as well on the RSI. Oh God, man, man, I can't wait though until we're back, you know, and who knows when it's gonna be until we're back in the higher highs, higher lows locally territory for Bitcoin. I I can't wait, man. I'm more excited than you are probably. the top gainer on the S&P today, I guess, right? Uh, Newmont Corporation, ticker NEM. Oh, wow, man. I, this is actually pretty interesting right here. Dang, dude, you wanna talk about Chop City. Up eight, almost 9% today. Uh, it hit like the bottom. This is, what were we looking at just a minute ago? That, I mean, silver kind of, right? The same kind of, situation here you know trying to bottom out no m shape like down you know from this low level but uh yeah i mean that's this is a, an inflection zone on newmont and it's near the bottom of it 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 held the bottom for like a while let's see how long was it down here since late september it's been just testing the bottom of this i guess zone or range and uh, it's still, you know, it's the exact same price it was at October 21st, same price it was at November 16th. So it's just, and no, same price it was at September 7th. So, I mean, it's just chopping around. But if it ever breaks this little local high right here, well, you could imagine where it's going. I mean, it's probably going to have a really nice markup. A lot of room to run. Straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. Eh, you didn't go straight up there. Most of the time, though, you do once you break $59. You, you have a nice market. You could go to $69 if you can break out soon. But yeah, just been chopping around. Same price it was, same price it was at the beginning of September. It was like, well, same price it was at April 15th of 2020. That's, you know, but big range. So this was, again, your top gainer on the S&P. Oh, wow, a lot more data over here. Dang, okay. Never mind. I thought it might have been in its own world. This is... It's at the same price it was at in January 2006. What a joke, man. Same price it was at in April of 1996. Good God. No wonder I had those trend lines. I'm like, where, where did I get that trend line from? Dude. Okay, 1987, I guess, was this all-time high at $82. I wasn't even alive yet when it hit all-time highs. One month before my birth, 
Newmont Corporation hit all time highs at 81.88. Never saw the price in it again. So that's what you're doing. You're testing a $60 level, it seems. That's pretty big deal. Well, you haven't even tested it yet, but you will be. If you break 59, it's not going to be a cakewalk. Wow. Uh, my birth did cause a crash because the first trading day of my entire life was the Black Monday, October 19th, 1987. And I was born October 17th, 1987 on a Saturday. Anyway, so I was just looking at a couple, the loser, the winner, you know, whatever. So yeah, I guess we're just running out the clock. We've got three minutes and change until the daily candle close. And it's just, I mean, it hasn't broken the support yet, right? It's just testing it, but no one's buying. I mean, there's there are some bids coming in, I guess. They're pathetic, though. It's just like you're just hugging this level after confirming just another lower high. I, don't, I mean, if it bounces here, hey, I got a hold account, but it, but it doesn't look good, man. It looks like this thing might be heading down to 42, 43K next. You're tired of it barely moving? Well, guess what? After a third peak, I would say the big move's coming. Probably down, but anything's possible, man. And I'm wrong. I mean, I'm wrong all the time, so I'm not saying I'm, I'm smart or anything. I'm just, we're identifying structures that have been researched over years. Many, many hundred plus years and uh that's it that's all we're doing here looks bad price action right the psychology of buyers and sellers lower highs lower lows yeah man it's bad lower wasn't higher low coming up you can't say that yet how do you know i don't i don't think that's happening yet Hell, uh, after that i'll just point to my idea that and it would it would complete exactly what we've been talking about, which would be this. We we'd identify this on the second peak, right? The eight eight six men, waiting patiently for a price of forty three thousand six hundred forty four dollars. And at that point, hey man, then things starting to look good are starting to look interesting for maybe long a long. But at that point, I think the four hour might need something too. But yeah, I, that would the daily it would resolve that PCZ on the daily. That'd be great, man. Now you solve one more time, you get a confirmation low on the daily. That'd be spectacular. But for now, you're still above the 200-day simple moving average, and you're trying to hold on to a critical level. So bearish engulfing candle will be confirmed in one minute and less than 30 seconds. Yikes. All I can tell you, practice extreme caution there are times to make money times not to lose money when things just look bearish really really bearish i don't know man bitcoin's done crazier things right yes three fall potential three falling peaks it is not a confirmed three falling peaks until the confirmation line is broken the confirmation line is always going to be the second valley you always the structural identification three that three peaks and then two valleys the second valley always lower than the first valley so if you're being as real as possible when we're doing this like textbook stuff confirmation line right here right the second valley's bottom it's not really confirmed till you break the difference that between a fib ray trace and a harmonic ray trace using the extensions What's interesting, a fib retrace and a harmonic retrace, they're the same. What do you mean? Right? I could easily, just as easily, instead of using the M shape, the tool that I use, I could literally just get out my traditional Fibonacci, go from the lowest low to the highest high, and it's the same thing, right? 886, 43454, or whatever. And then I use the tool, the X, the A, the B, the C, and the D. It's literally the same thing. 
So there, you have to learn, you have to memorize what each one is. This one right here, this B to D or whatever, that is f using the, um, you use the traditional Fibonacci tool from the low to the high of B to C. And that gives you that, right? It's There's the 1618, you're below it. You're at 180%, not 161.8, right? And then you can, uh, for the 54% retrace on B, you just easily go from the low to the high. There it is, 54% retrace, 50% right there. And then if you need this number right here from A to C, you go traditional fib tool from the high to the low, from A to B, and you get it. You get that number. You have to uh, memorize that stuff, though. It does. You have to invest in yourself, okay? And you have to learn this you really want to do it fundamentally understand Fibonacci and how it works I have, a, I have a static video on it that helps give a lot of clarity so DRV Jonathan thanks for the 20 thanks dude oh by the way um, Jesus chimes we have a new day on our hands and unfortunately there's a bearish engulfing candle for now it, it, it was painted the paint dried and it is no matter what it does next. Bearish engulfing. Yanks. After, on the four hour, making a lower high than the previous high for the third time. Wow. Gross. Yep, everyone and their mothers and the mailmen and the barber, were, they expected. They were entitled to $100,000 by year end. Oh, God, man. DRV, a real estate. Oh, this is a, a levered ETF or an ETN. DRV, unless you're talking about driver group and, on the London Stock Exchange. What are you talking about, Jonathan? Are you talking about this asset, this derivative, a levered, three-time levered derivative of real estate? that has decay on it. This is not meant to hold long-term. This is a short-term, it's like a day trader's tool. Thank you, Igor. Yeah, ch check out my, one of the mods wanna post the YouTube video of my Fibonacci education. Yeah, Jonathan, well, dude, that's that's all you need to know, man. Like, I, I don't know, the like volume? Pff. I mean, this is just something like, if you're talking about any ETN, exchange traded note, there's decay on it. So all it's gonna do, it's like, all it's gonna do is track the asset, but it decays. So you have to pay money to hold it. And event, that's why this thing always sells off like that. And is it inversing it? Yeah, it's bear. Okay, so it's bear. So not only is there decay on the asset, it's also, where's real estate going? up straight up so if you're three time levered bearish on real estate uh you're paying a fee to get wrecked long term they, i mean yeah so day traders are gonna like maybe buy this oh it's starting to spike on the fit like covid crash all right it's a it's a hedge people use it to protect their portfolios in volatile insane conditions right but when it's normal normal conditions wrecked loser every time right and then you pay to be a loser all right, all time lows, of course. Sorry, man, I, sorry Bitcoin sucks, dude. Like, I, I can't help it. I can't make this thing look better. Don't blame me. Oh boy, here we go. It was a good year and just like that, man. Then, just like that. It was like 2022 might inverse 2021. I don't know, man. I hope not. I hope the cycle is lengthening. Um, no matter if, if it's here or it's 42K, we bottom out. That's it, right? Whether it's at this level, this inflection zone, or the one below it, we bottom and we begin to rally and start showing higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. The trend starts reversing midterm and then things are good. The midterm and the long term catch up and the short term, then all of a sudden all three are bullish together. You want that, man. You just don't have it yet.
yeah, how far away from all time highs on Bitcoin? Like 30%, right? And it's something like that 28, 30% from the high, $69,000. Yep, you're down 31% in 36 days. Only, I mean, maybe only in crypto, some meme stock or something too, maybe. How could you call that a bullish hammer on Bitcoin when it's literally just started six minutes ago? No. No, bullish hammer maybe on the weekly for silver at an inflection point. Ah, far more strategic entry. It's been beaten down forever. And it's at its lowest risk area ever. So it's like, if you if one doesn't take a shot on silver at these levels, then, then you never would. You'd probably never touch silver in your life if you wouldn't take a long on silver using traditional technical analysis at the levels it's at right now yeah oh egg ask that question are you just setting up for education for everyone just keeping the stream rolling egg thanks man because i know you know you're just asking for others the lurkers out there huh All right, well, you know, I, I can do, all I can do is just go live and do this stuff. And so it's Thursday night, so we'll have a little Patreon hangout tonight in the voice chat. I'm sure like three people will show up. Looking forward to it to just talk about what's going on now. But uh, so thanks for the likes, love, support, contributions, everything in between, man. Just remember, I'll tell you this. If it's not feeling too good right now, this soon shall pass. All right, they all the times don't feel that good. We'll just give it a little while. Probably gonna get better. This soon shall pass. Nothing stays the same. Uh, you know, like the 69k feeling, the euphoric feeling. It'll be back again someday. Fret not. Uh, the fundamentals are unreal. Good. I mean, like the mass adoption isn't stopping. Maybe the price goes down, but the price is not indicative of the things happening behind the scenes with big money, big players. And again, the the actual adoption of this entire space. Like that's Metcalf's law, non-zero addresses on Bitcoin Ethereum hitting all time highs like literally every day. So I mean, it's just like, what was the, the chart? Uh, let me let me find it. I wanna pull it up real quick, but um, Yeah, it's like the internet versus crypto adoption, you know. The same amount of years after the internet was created, I mean, crypto's like got more adoption in the same amount of time. Like double. Yeah, the amount of uh, people that the internet had. So the adoption's actually like better. So you just, you can't fret on it. That's why like... I have too much money in crypto hold account. I don't, I just don't care. Like, it, it, okay, if it really does dump, then my God, we got a lot more problems than like crypto. I mean, with what's going on in this world. Like, I, I think a lot of market participants in this world, billionaires, smart money, geniuses, um, are have chosen this. They put the trust in this asset and some other coins. And uh, I think eventually it will bottom out and it will proceed to the levels that everyone was screaming for at the end of the year. But it doesn't have to be at the end of the year. It could be 100K in April or something or December of next year or maybe two years from now. But either way, man, you got to understand this is a financial revolution going on. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to zero. It's just not. Bitcoin's not going to zero. Inverse Daniel Pena or whatever his name is, right? Not going to zero. But it could go to 42K and it really wouldn't be that big a deal. It would just be a lower price. But the same financial revolution that exists today will be in the same existence if it if by tomorrow or the next few days we go see 43K. All right. So I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about it, man. This is this is one of the only things that makes sense in this world now, dude. Crypto, mathematics, algorithms, cold, trustless. This is it, man. Everything else is like, oh, pick your team, pick your your dictator, pick your you know, your person that's you know, bought and paid for by pharmaceutical companies or oil or whatever. It's all bull crap. This is like one of the only things that makes sense now. Okay. Keep printing that money, dude. Yeah. Keep raising the debt ceiling. Yeah. Keep spending money that isn't yours. All right. So just, just saying, man, 
you'll eventually pivot. This soon shall pass. This this downturn you're in, it'll it'll pass, and the higher lows will come again. Just just not yet. That's that's all I'm trying to tell you. Okay, just not quite yet. Yeah, bigger team roll to. Yeah, that's right. That's mine. It's my school too. So thanks again for the likes, love, support, contributions, everything in between. I'll be back. Until next time, respect the T. Hey. so good for everything. Why, why these people who want to do so much good, everyone who call themselves governments and this and that, why them say you must not use the herb? So herb make you look for yourself and if he's a raster, then you wouldn't see why you shouldn't have it because then you don't know freedom is freedom and you don't have to bow, you do whatever you like. My right is my right, like my life. I, I don't know, sir. Herb is a plant. Yeah, this is my identity. This is my identity. That boy is good. Good and terrible.
make it look fine instead of fine.